Hey there, it's Greg Smith here and welcome to the Tuesday Swing Analysis Show. Uh, today's swing has been sent by John McNeil. John's actually a student here at the Academy, so we've got the benefit of having his Trapman numbers with his swing as well. Uh, John said he's struggling with his mid to long irons at the moment, so uh, let's have a look at his swing and see if we can help him out. Okay, John, so a couple of things I've picked out with the swing then. Um, it's nice on this video because we've got the benefit of the Trapman number, so we can just see you hit that ball 150.7 carry, uh, 162.2 total. Uh, this is a 7 iron. Uh, and we also see, if I bring up your direction of swing, we can see that this direction of swing is pretty square to the target. We can see, well, it's actually dead square to the target, 0.0. .0. Uh, there's your target line, so that's all very good. So two things, I think consistency of strike is going to be a real uh, turning point for you with uh, with the mid to long irons, and definitely, um, I mean, we'll see on this one the ball actually goes fractionally left to target. Yeah, I mean, it probably would have ended on the green, but uh, I think consistency of the club face angle will be uh, greatly improved as well with, with what we'll look at today. So if you just bring up your club in a 2D view, you see this red line here is the angle of the club face and it's going fractionally left to target. So that's an area we can improve upon as well. So let's have a quick look at the swing. So first of all, we'll see it set up that the sternum is fractionally ahead of the ball there. We've, there's, there's not a great deal of tilt to the shoulders at setup uh, and the sternum is fractionally ahead of the ball and what that causes as you swing the club back is a slight slide of the hips across and at the top of the back swings just move that back a couple of frames we'll see at the top of the back swing there's actually a slight reverse tilt of the spine here so ideally we'd like to see the upper body almost tilted the other way a little bit more into the right leg um, what that does is as you come into the downswing we actually see almost an early release of the club the clubs are actually extending that little bit too early and if we we've actually got a number where we can quantify this the attack angle for a seven iron this attack angle here is a little too shallow so uh, we want to be hitting a little more down on the ball with a seven iron so we can improve upon that um, by changing that weight shift uh, just also, just a little side note, so we look at the swing from down the line. As you go back, that club shaft plane is a little too flat going back. So ideally with a 7 iron, we'd like to see the club shaft point somewhere midway between the golf ball and the feet. So if you just pop a little line here, that's where we'd like to see the shaft angle pointing. And yours has just gone a little flat. And what that does is it rolls the club face, so it rotates the club face, which means you've then got to counter rotate the club face coming through to square things up. And that's where your face angle is going to be compromised. So a slight change in setup to improve that attack angle, and a slight change in shaft plane to improve that face angle, and you're going to be hitting the ball much better. Let's put a little drill together to help you out with that. Okay then, so a couple of things. First of all, we noticed that the shoulders were a little bit on this left leg, so we're gonna pull the shoulders back, so the sternum sits more on top of the golf ball rather than ahead of it. And maybe even with the longer clubs, long irons and woods, perhaps, a perhaps fractionally tilted a little bit behind. What that will allow you to do then is turn into the right leg and load the weight into the right leg without sliding the hips over. As you make that move, you've got to be careful that we don't have this flattening of the club shaft. So you're also going to feel with this setup change that you're going to keep the angle of the club shaft nice and steep going back. And that better turn and that steeper club shaft is going to set you in a position that's going to allow you to get that slightly more descending blow and you're going to strike the irons much more solidly with that. Okay, so that drill's really going to help John improve his ball striking with his mid to long irons. If you'd like your swing analysed on the Tuesday Swing Analysis Show, send a video of your golf swing and we'll fit you in as soon as possible. Little subscribe button down there, make sure you click to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next Tuesday with another swing analysis.